So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about time zones. So as you can see on the right side, the registrations date are stored in UTC time zone. We can see it is plus zero zero. So even when we do selection, select, let's say registration date from course registrations, we're going to get again plus zero zero, which is a UTC time zone. So what if, let's say we want get all the registration dates in Los Angeles time zone. So how can we write something like this? Here we have to use the add time zone keyword. So we can say select registration date at time zone. Here we have to specify the time zone. In this case, America, Los Angeles from course registrations so when we run this so look this is 1837 it will be now 1037 because it is eight hours behind so the same we can do let's assume instead of los angeles we want new york here we can again change this say new york so we want the course registration dates in New York time zone. So if we run this, we're gonna get 1337 now.